Oh, so, so much bait! Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Six Underground or Underground Six or whatever. This movie doesn't have a plot. This is probably the most standout Michael Bay movie in terms of everything that people criticize him for. That's including the Transformers movies. This movie is a completely original idea. This has no pre-product, this has no pre-story, this isn't based off a true story, this is just something completely original, and it's bad. This movie takes over an hour for its plot to get going. Sure, it's got some pretty cool action scenes. The idea of the absolute chaos and madness that happens in Bay's films with these car chases, these gun shootouts, these fight scenes, and the fact that they've always been PG-13 has always been kind of like, eh. And then you watch this movie, which is rated R, and you see a bunch of pylons get off a truck and go right through the windshield and completely eviscerate a dude in an SUV and blood just spurting everywhere. You're like, holy shit. I was drawn in with this in the first action scene. However, by the 25 minute mark and the scene was still going, I was sitting there just perplexed as to what the fuck is this movie about? This movie's about six people who have died to basically become ghosts. They do not exist, but they have the skills and means to take out people who deserve to die. And they're going after this dude who's the dictator of Turkestan or something, and the dude is a straight up 100% stereotype super stupid bullshit bad guy. Every line that comes out of this man's mouth is evil. But stupid evil. Oh, I'm going to use my sarin gas again. The Americans put me here and the Russians armed me. I will never be dictated. I love being evil. And what's worse is this guy isn't much better than our main characters. They're all assholes. They're all horrible people. Ryan Reynolds is just on autopilot essentially with his quips. And this movie was written by the two guys who wrote Deadpool. And you can see Bay's all over it. This is still a very poor movie in terms of a script. How does a movie like this with $150 million and a two hour plus runtime have this little story? I'll tell you why. You know why? You know why. I was so bored watching this movie that I fell asleep three times. I couldn't believe how nonsensical everything is. Yeah, sure, it's well shot, but when you have no structure and you have no main characters to latch onto or to care for or any development, God forbid, you're not going to have a fun time. You're not pulling anyone into this. I'm amazed that Netflix got on this because they didn't produce it. They made it and then they bought it. Why? At least that's what I've heard. If I'm incorrect, let me know. Either way, I don't know why Netflix did this because this is just stupid. I understand that the Transformers movies have made a lot of money, but they've been universally panned. This movie is being panned because it's bad. Six Underground or Underground Six, what the fuck ever this movie is, it gets a two out of seven from me. You know, Bay did a decent movie with 13 hours of Benghazi. It wasn't spectacular, but it wasn't bad. I thought the guy was gonna turn it around that he made last night. Now it's just nothing. This guy just makes shit. I know he's made shit for a while, but this is just, just concrete in it. He had an original idea. I don't think he's had an original idea since The Rock. Or Bad Boys? I don't know. Why does he suck so much? Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.